G'day folks, thought I'd give you a bit of a look at what I got up to quickly this afternoon. Pretty much we'll prep this stock tank to go in down the back next to the one for the ginger. Uh, this one will have the turmeric in it and maybe some walking onions and leeks and other bits and pieces. Uh, this one here, uh, Kira was hiding in it just before so I had to urge her to leave with the garden hose so it's a little bit wet. But all the plumbing fittings are ready to go, just got to move the sand and the rock down the back. Oh, I thought I'd give you a bit of a look at uh, the pickings for this afternoon too. We've got a nice little haul of blueberries there. I think there's probably around about 400 grams, but I'll weigh them when I get upstairs. I'll take a wander down to the aquaponics and show you something I found. So just to let you folks know, it's been a crazy week for us. Our eldest, Maya, has graduated high school, so I was running her around for um, formals and award ceremonies and graduations and whatnot. So I didn't spend a lot of time in the patch. And one of the things I've missed is the army caterpillars. They've come in and they've pretty much all de decimated the uh, beetroot in this bed, there's the tells, uh, telltale signs, just a little bit of scat around there. They've pretty much all destroyed that um, beetroot plant over the back. I just squished one on this leaf before, so it looks like, oh and they've pretty much all finished that leaf off too. So it looks like I've got to be a little more, bit more vigilant. I'll have to get some of the um, Bacillus thuringiensis um, or um, BT spray down here just to give them a bit of a blast. I've noticed too, just before that they're in there on the Brazilian spinach. So this is the one we're not eating at the moment, so letting it grow back a bit. And it looks like they've got in there and had a right royal feed on it. And also to that silver beet, just around the back here as well, I notice that there's a leaf or two of the silver beet that's been hit uh, or charred. So we'll have to get in there and um, look into that. Maybe um, chop back all the, oh look, this one as well. So we'll see if I can get a, there we go. I don't know if I can get the phone to focus. So there's one of the little blighters there. They're a little see-through cat caterpillar. It's a moth from memory that lays them. Um, and they normally lay like a few at a time. And they can pretty much all decimate a plant overnight. I'll just show you what I found on the perpetual spinach. Just before I noticed they were down here in the center of the um, this small little perpetual spinach plant as well. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, I've already been in there and squished a couple. What I'm going to do tomorrow is pull off the majority of the greens and um, just leave some of the new sprouts, kill as many caterpillars as I can and prepare the rest of the greens for the freezer so we can hook into them then. Um, just here, cucumber, almost ready for picking. It'll be the first decent one for the season so looking forward to that. I haven't seen any others get fertilized. I thought maybe it was a parthenogenic variety but I'm thinking maybe it's not so be interesting to see what happens. That one's actually looking a little bit plumper, so maybe that one will form into a fruit. Um, down the base here, where are we? I don't know if I can see. Ah, oh, there we go. There's one of the Egyptian spinach from down the back. And there's another one I should have showed you just underneath the silver bead over there. Uh, those guys haven't been hit by the army caterpillars before, so I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty sure they'll be left alone. Got some more bean flowers coming through. I'll show you some of the other Egyptian spinach, actually. Just down here in this little root pouch tray, got a couple more of the seedlings from the compost. They actually look like they may be munched on, so I'll have to keep an eye on them. And we've got a couple more down in a root pouch underneath the ginger barrels. Um, those ginger barrels, by the way, should be planted out this week sometime. Anyway, I thought I'd give you just a little bit of an update. Um, really looking forward to getting the turmeric bed in down the back. And I still have another barrel under the house that I can um, set up as well. And I should have more than enough compost between the little pile down the back as well as some left over in the cage up near the house. So, so there you go folks, a little bit of a roundup. I might actually post this clip over to uh, YouTube as well, just so the folks over there in YouTube land can see what we get up to here in Patreon, or on Patreon, I should say. Hope you've all had a fantastic weekend, and I'll catch you online. I forgot to mention, we've got strawberries. Cheers, folks.